New at five, metal detectors are being credited with finding a potentially dangerous item in a local student's backpack. And we're learning this is the latest in a string of incidents in that district. Ross Gadotti joins us live with more. Ross. Yeah, this happened in the New Ken Arnold School District. District officials say the kids involved weren't very old. The knives that were allegedly found weren't very big, but they are taking all the incidents very seriously. It's really shocking, though, too, though, that something like this is happening, uh, that kids nowadays is bringing stuff like this to school. Lee Jones, father of two students at Roy A. Hunt Elementary School in Arnold, where officials and police confirm a 12-year-old student was found with a small pen knife in her backpack after a metal detector at the school went off, alerting school staff to its presence. I'm just glad that the security work and was in place. The incident at Hunt Elementary, one of three where students allegedly brought knives into facilities in the district over the last two months. One incident happening at Martin Elementary School, the other at H.D. Berkey Elementary. In all cases, the items were discovered by administrators and secured. School District Superintendent John Pallone told me over the phone the incidents were minor in nature and at no time were any students or staff in danger. He also told me the students involved will be appropriately disciplined in accordance with the school's rules and procedures. It was just last week that the New Ken Arnold School District okayed $4,000 for the purchase of metal detectors to be installed at H.D. Berkey Elementary and Martin Elementary. Lee Jones says he's happy the district is doing what he yes, thinks yes, they're supposed yeah, to do when it comes to keeping his kids safe. But he also says this issue needs addressed long before it gets to the schoolhouse door. I just don't know where the parents are at when all this has happened. That's a big factor to me. All right. Now, the fourth grader in this latest incident was 12 years old. Found out the grades of the two other kids allegedly involved in these incidents. One was a kindergartner and the other one a first grader. Reporting live, Ross Gadotti, KDKA TV News.